Good day students, welcome to mathgoodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at how to prove that triangles are congruent. We're going to be using um, five different ways to establish the fundamental process of proving triangle congruency. Instructions for the examples are for us to determine if the given triangle pairs are congruent, and if so, state the reason. To get us started, we're going to go over the five ways to prove triangle congruency. We can view these five ways as the sequence of corresponding congruent parts, okay? So let's write that down. Here are the sequence of corresponding congruent parts. Okay, when we're talking about parts, we're looking at angles and sides. All right, so way number one is known as the SSS congruency theorem. Okay, what does SSS mean? It just simply means that if you have two triangles and their three pair of sides are congruent, side, 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 three corresponding sides are congruent, you can automatically conclude that those two triangles are congruent. All right, the next way to prove congruency is SAS, the SAS congruency theorem. And what does SAS mean? SAS simply means side angle side, all right? So to, something to keep in mind here is to use the SAS congruency theorem, the angle has to be included, the angle has to be between the two sides, all right? And then the next one is the ASA congruency theorem, angle side angle in that order. congruency theorem. Now if you have two pairs of triangles and the corresponding angle side and angle are congruent in that order, you know that the two or you can conclude that the two triangles are congruent. So ASA simply means angle side angle. Okay, number four. The fourth way is angle Angle side, AAS, the AAS congruency theorem. All right, so AAS just sounds for two consecutive angles and a non-included side, angle, angle side. All right, if you have the sequence of corresponding parts, then you can conclude that the two triangles are congruent. Number five, last but not the least, is the RHL congruency theorem. What does RHL mean? Well, it's a special case. RHL applies to just right triangles. Okay, if you have two right triangles, so the R stands for right, and their hypotenuse and just one pair of legs are congruent, that's sufficient to conclude that the triangles are congruent all right so rhl is right angles hypotenuse and leg remember every right triangle has a has a hypotenuse and two legs okay so let's take a look at uh, these five examples here and then we have some practice problems for you to try out uh so before we get started, let's just write down the five ways that we just talked about for references uh, purposes on the side here, okay? So method one was SSS, method two was SAS, method three, ASA, method four, AAS, and then method five, RHL. Okay, so these are the five ways we can show congruency. Okay, you remember you have to have all of these in order to use them. You can just have just some, you're going to have them all. All right, so let's take a look at number one. 
we have two triangles here, triangle one and two. Let's label them triangle one and triangle two. So we're going to label corresponding congruent parts. Here we're just looking at angles, all right? So here we have one tick mark here, one tick mark here. So these two sides with one tick marks are corresponding congruent sides. So we're gonna call this S1 and S1. They're congruent. S1 is congruent to S1, okay? And then next you have two tick marks here and two tick marks here, which means that these two sides are corresponding and they're congruent too. So S2, we're gonna call them S2 and S2. They're exactly the same measure. All right, and then the third side with its three tick marks uh, is called that S3. So this side right here corresponds to this side and they are congruent. Okay, now if you look at a sequence of letters for both triangles, what do we have? Starting with this, with this side right here, we have side, 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 three sides. Okay, and if you look at this triangle, the same pattern, side, side, side. A sequence of three sides that are congruent. All right. So here that we have SSS. Let's go ahead and write down what we have. We have S side for S1, side for S2, side for S3. Now is SSS on this list right here? Absolutely. It's method number one. Okay. So since this is a valid way to determine congruency, we know that um, these two triangles are congruent. So let's go ahead and write down our answer. The answer is as follows. So the triangles, the triangles are, the triangles are congruent. How do we know? They are congruent based on based on the side 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 SSS congruency theorem. Okay, all right, let's move on to question number two. So question number two, let's go ahead and label the corresponding congruent um, parts. So we'll, let's start with this tick mark right here with one tick mark. So we're gonna call that uh, S1. So this side right here, S1 and this side right here are corresponding congruent sides. Next we have one arc and one arc in both triangles. Those are angle pairs that are congruent. So we're going to call this A1. This angle right here, A1, is corresponds and is congruent to this angle right here, A1. And then you notice that these two triangles share a common side and they are exactly the same length. Alright, so let's mark that with two tick marks to indicate that these lengths are congruent. So since we already have S1, we're going to call this side right here, we're going to call it S2. Okay, so we have S2. All right, so for triangle 1 and 2, if we look at the sequence of these congruent parts, what do we have? What alphabetical combination do we have? So here, if you look at what we have right here, we have S1. A1 and S2. All right, and then in this triangle we have S1, A1, and S2 going in that order. Okay, so that gives us a combination. The S1 is counts as an S. The angle pairs that are congruent A1 and A1 counts as an A, and then the S2 counts as an S. Now is SAS a valid way to show congruency? Let's look at our list right here. Absolutely, number two, right? So since we have um, a valid way to conclude that these triangles are congruent, we know that they are congruent and we can write out our answer. The triangles are congruent and this is based on the angle, I'm sorry, the uh, side angle side SAS based on the SAS side angle side congruency theorem. Okay, all right, let's move on to question number three. So for question three, you notice we have a right angle here. So that automatically gives us a direction as to where to go. So this is a straight line with a right angle. So this angle is also 
uh, 90 degrees using the linear pair postulate. So we have two right triangles here. Okay, so let's commence with the labeling of corresponding congruent parts. We're going to start with the fact that we have right angles. So these two right angles will count as R. No need for indexes here because a triangle can have at most one right angle. Okay, and then the side opposite the 90 degree angle is known as your hypotenuse, right? So let's label that. So for these two triangles, you notice they have two tick marks for the hypotenuse component. So we're going to call this H and H. So these two sides are congruent, H and H. All right. All right triangles have one 90 degree angle and one hypotenuse opposite the 90. The other two sides are called the legs. All right. So this side, this is a common side that they share of the same measure. So we just put one tick mark there. Okay. And then we're going to call this side, we're going to call it um, L1. L1. All right. Okay. So now in these two triangles, what sequence of alphabets can we use to sh uh, try to see if they are congruent? If you take a look at... Um, the first triangle, triangle number one, going in the um, counterclockwise direction, you start with the right angle, you have a hypotenuse and a leg. You have right angle, a hypotenuse and a leg. Okay, for the uh, second triangle, you go. we have a right angle, a hypotenuse and a leg. We'll go in that direction. Okay, so here we have a right angle hypotenuse that are congruent and a pair of legs that are congruent. Is this sufficient to prove congruency? Take a look at number five. Absolutely. All right. So conclusion is as follows. The triangles, the triangles are congruent based on, on the RHL, right hypotenuse leg congruency theorem. Okay. Bam. All right. Let's take a look at number four. So let me just make a little notation here. So we have a mark here and a mark here. Okay. So for number four, let's take a look at what we have. Um, so we have two angle pairs that are congruent, right? So we're going to call that... Um, A1 and A1, these two corresponding angles are congruent. And then the sides with the one tick marks are congruent also. So we're going to call this S1 and S1. Now you notice we have this two lines intersecting. All right. Those form something called the vertical angles. And what do we know about vertical angles? Vertical angles are congruent. So this angle right here. Is a vertical pair with this angle right here and since they're vertical pairs they are congruent all right so since these two angles are congruent we're going to call them a2 bam so a2 and a2 okay so for triangle one and for triangle two do you see the sequence of alphabets here so for the order we have uh for the first one a1, S1, and A2, like that. And then over here, A1, this angle, A1, S1, and A2, like this. Let's call this triangle 2. All right, so what, is the, what are the alphabetical combinations that we can use to see if they are congruent? Here we have A1, S1, and A2. That is A, S, A. So... Is this sufficient to prove that these two triangles are congruent? Absolutely. If you look at option three, this is a valid way to prove congruency. All right. So let's write down our concluding statement. The triangles are the triangles are congruent. How do we know? This is based on based on the Angle, side, angle, congruency 
theorem. Okay. All right, let's take a look at one more example. All right, so for number five, what do we have here? All right, we notice that two pairs of angles are congruent. The congruency are marked here. So let's go ahead and write down the congruent pairs. So this angle and this angle have one um, arc on them, which shows that they're congruent. So A1, let's call them A1 pair. So these two angles are corresponding congruent angles. And then next we have the two angles here have two arcs in them. So that will be our second pair of corresponding congruent angles, A2, A2. And then these two triangles share a common side that is congruent. So that's going to be, that's going to count as a side, corresponding congruent side S1. Okay. So we have triangle one and triangle two. Now, if you look at a sequence of letters starting from A1, we have A1, A2, and S1 like that. And over here, A1, A2, and S1 like that. So what are the alphabetical combinations that we can attempt to use to prove congruency? It's A1's A, A2's A, and S1's S. A, A, S. Is this a valid way to show congruency? Absolutely. Look at number four, method four. So this works also. All right. So what's our conclusion? Our conclusion is that um, the triangles, the triangles are congruent how do we know based on the a angle angle side congruency theorem okay all right Alrighty, so here are five practice problems for you to try out. So go ahead and pause the video presentation at this time and then go ahead and determine if the given triangle pairs are congruent. If so, state the reason. Alrighty, welcome back. So here are the answers to the questions one to five. How well did you do on these five practice problems? Let us know in the comment section below how well you did or if you have any questions about these problems or what we went over in the examples thanks for watching this video don't forget to help support our channel with your likes subscriptions and comments tons of support resources can be found at mathgotserve.com or the links in the descriptions below thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video goodbye